Hi, welcome to Gamers Web. Uh, today we're going to take a quick look at Feast of Bones for Warhammer Age of Sigma. Uh, this is a brand new battle box that has just come out from Games Workshop. Uh, in fact, it's actually not out until uh, I think it's the this coming Saturday, which is the um, 1st or 2nd of November. Right, so um, without further ado, uh, we'll have a quick look. Okay, right, so um, it is the 2nd of November, I've just checked. Right, so um, let's have a quick look at see what we get in the box. Um, first things first, I'm just going to turn the box over so we can look on the back. Okay, now this is a Battle Force box. It contains a 40-page book called Feast of Bones, um, the Warhammer Age of Sigma Core Rules booklet, which is the small one, uh, token sheets and eight War Scroll cards, and it's got 26 miniatures. You have two factions. You have the Gutbusters, which are um, a the Ogrins, or not Ogrins, the um, Ogres um, from the Ogre Kingdoms, but they've changed the name on them now. They've reinvented Warhammer. And you have the um, Ossiarch um, Bone Reapers. And um, the Ossiarch Bone Reapers are brand new miniatures. I think, um, as far as I'm aware, the, um, the Gutbusters, um, some of these miniatures have been released before. Um, they look like they've been um, remodeled though and retooled and um, they've got some very very nice looking models okay so um, the blurb reels an ancient treaty between the ravenous gut buster ogros, ogros and the death legions of the Osark bone reapers has been broken now the endless boneyard plays host to a furious battle between these two mighty forces uh, within this box you will find all the citadel miniatures you need to fight this brutal struggle along with two armies you will also read the history of the endless boneyard and the tale of how the tentative pact between the living and the dead was shattered by ambition and unquenchable hunger you will also find rules for playing games with your new miniatures and a series of battle plans to tell stories of the battle of the endless boneyard pitting the two forces against each other in a fun and exciting tabletop war game that casts you as the commander in this epic conflict Okay, so um, your two leaders, you've got uh, Grot Mortorian, uh, Master of the Bone Tithe, who is for the um, the Bone Reapers, and then you've got Tyrant, who's for the Gutbusters. Okay, um, so let's, without further ado, let's crack on and have a quick look. Right, so, never easy to get into these things, especially when we're on a camera, but this is brand new, um, it only came into the shop this afternoon, and... Um, the guys from Sixes to Hit have very kindly brought it down so we can have a quick look. Right, that's that off. Right, so this is an army battle box, so it's basically a starting force for um, your army. And um, it's not a standalone game itself. So take the lid off, and we're immediately met with loads and loads of sprues. Okay, so we've got a bag full of bases, which I don't need to go through because obviously we know what bases look like. We have our Tyrant um, figure here, and there's his head, which is getting the right way around. Got some really nice detail, as always. Um, at least I think that's the Tyrant figure. No, actually, no, that's not the Tyrant. That's just a set of arms and stuff. Okay, um, that's the Tyrant. Yeah, he's the Tyrant. He's the leader. Looks very nice. Okay, and then um, we also have this um, is the uh, leader of the the bone shard. Uh, the, my brain's gone already. Uh, the bone shard, whatever they're called. Right, I'm brand new to this. I've never actually seen this product before. But these are the the skeleton, the undead legion um, leader. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can get a better look detail. For some reason my camera's not being very accurate and I'm getting a lot of fuzziness on my camera. Just pause one moment and I'll try and fix that out. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what the problem is with my camera because it's not letting me zoom in and autofocus properly. Something's probably changing one of the settings. Okay, so um, these, are, these have been released before, the Ogres. Um, I used to have an Ogre Kingdoms army and I recognise this spruce. Um, Miniatures are very nice. You get the um, the grots, or whatever they're calling them nowadays, to go with the ogres uh, and other stuff to put on the bases. So we get one, two sprues of those, and then 
there's another sprue the same one just going to zoom out a little bit so you can get a better view and then there's another one so each one makes two figures so that's two four six eight ogres and then we have um uh, an ogre on um a giant warthog a war warhog which uh which really good the um as I say, I'm a bit annoyed that my camera's not focusing in properly, but the attention to detail on this is just like fantastic. Really, really good. And then the final one for the ogres is this sprue here, which is all the weapons. Okay. And then we get to the new ones. We, these are all the um, the Osark um, Bone Reapers. All right, so um, look very much like trilobites um, for the shields. Um, they look really, really nice. Um, lots of serrated batleff style weapons. And um, that's the first sprue. And the second sprue contains this big undead dragon type thing. Now, I'm not sure what any of these creatures are because I've not looked through the rules. I'm literally seeing this fresh for the very first time. Um, but um, we'll have a look when we come to the actual uh, box itself. The box, right? So, more of these brilliant weapons. I mean, those are huge, absolutely huge weapons. And then, um, there's a huge cannon, and final sprue is more of these, um, quite spindly and fragile looking. Uh, undead but they look brilliant okay so um this is the one with new games workshop products we get a separator we get a large base for the um, chariot and a smaller base for the other thing and then we get our fist of bones book our um painting guide and assembly guide and we'll also get our um Real book for what I'm age of Sigma. So we'll have a quick look through these and see what we get. Okay, so um, looking at the cards first. So these are your battle tome cards. Um, let's get this off without breaking it. Okay, so we have uh, Morgast uh, uh, Arakai. Um, he's been crafted by Nagash himself. Also, they were crusted by Nagashi themselves, and it says Feast of Bones on the back. I think they all, yeah, they all say Feast of Bones. And then they got more Tech Guard, which are undead um, um, creatures with great blades. Uh, Vok Mortarian, who's the leader. Uh, Lead Belchers for your Ogres. Iron Blasters for your Ogres. And then we have got um, a double-sided card, which is much bigger, which is Tyrant, which is the war scroll for Tyrant. It's got Ogre Pistols, Beast Walker Glaive, uh, Thunder Mace, and Gulping Bite. Um, okay, and then the next one is another large one, which is Ogre Gluttons. Um... They have Gulping Bite and Clubs or Blades. And finally, we have the Necropolis Stalkers, which are these huge undead construction creatures which have got like lots and lots of uh, very large weaponry. Okay, so that's a quick look through the cards. As I say, you know, I've not actually played this. Um, I've only played Age of Sigma a couple of times and everything's changed from Warhammer to Age of Sigma over the past few years. So it's... um. It's all brand new to me. Right, so um, first of all, we get our two books. We get the core rules for Age of Sigma. And then we get a set of tokens, which is not very many, but there's a set of tokens there and two range rulers. And then we get our um, assembly guide, which shows us how to put together um, Vought Mortarian's Retinue and Kinita's Bully Boys. Um, it goes step by step, tells you what you'll on each sprue, and then what. Um, how to put down, uh, put together 
uh, Vortmortarium and uh, Maragast and these guys with the huge wings. Yeah, I thought they were dragons, they're not dragons, they're um, undead cavalry, undead um, with wings. Yeah, so that's a quick look through that. I'm not going to look through the core rules because the core rules are exactly the same as they are from the normal Age of Sigma. And this is the quick book, well, we'll have a quick look at the rule book. So this is the Feast of Bones, and this will give us all the background on um, the what's been going on in uh, the mortal realms. Just move this out of the way so we can have a quick look. Um, with the mortal realms and um, how it affects the Feast of Bones. So we have all the background for the game here. Um, Land of the Dead Heroes, Rise of the Tyrant, um, War of Flesh and Bone, so, and then um, some great artwork. So this is the, um, the Gut Busters, tells you all about the different factions. So you've got the Tyrants, Gluttons, Lead Belchers, Iron Blasters, and then the uh, Ossiarch uh, Bone Reapers, it tells you about the various factions. And then, of course, we have our... Um, Painting guide from the studio. Some really, really beautiful looking models. And then there's um, the scenarios two, three, three scenarios and the war, war scrolls for the two bands. And then the tyrants and stuff at the back. Right, so um, really looks like a quite a nice little army. Um, something that uh, I'm sure a lot of people have been waiting for. And now um, its retail price, as far as I'm aware, is £115. Now, um, the guys at Sixes to Hit um, very kindly let me open this. They're currently doing the game at um, £92, which is 20% off retail price. Uh, the link to Sixes is down, down here somewhere. Um, but if you're savvy and you make use of the... Um, Arc Club membership, uh, you can get 25% discount off. So you can get this for £86, 25 pence, which is a really good saving. Right, so um, these look really great. Once again, my apologies for the um, autofocus on my camera. I'm not sure what's wrong, um, but I will investigate that further and try and get that fixed for the next video. So um, my many thanks go to the guys at Sixes to Hit. Um, for the help with this video review and um, hope you found this of interest uh, if so please leave a comment on the comment section below and um, we'll hopefully um, see you again very shortly thank you